Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. Uh, my name is Daniel Rosal, and uh, recently we've been looking a lot at optical media, so I'm just trying to flesh out all the uh, subjects that I haven't really looked at. And what I thought I would do today is take a look at what Verbatim call their core technologies, because if you're buying Verbatim discs, you'll see these acronyms crop up time and time again, or you're looking at buying them. Uh, and I thought that rather than do these one by one, I would uh, look at the uh, look at this document. So the, it's there's a page on their website talking about their what they call core technologies. It doesn't look to me as if these have really changed that much over time, where they've kind of like innovated with a lot of new ones. This is actually a kind of a vintage doc. It's from 2006, uh, before Verbatim was acquired. Um, so it's uh it's frozen in time as stuff is uh when written at a uh, at a certain year as this video is also frozen in time um but i thought uh these technologies are still being marketed by verbatim in their optical products so i thought it would be good to look at these so i'm actually going to skip the first one double layer because this is really not a uh, novel technology in optical media anymore when we have quad layer uh, but back at the back in back when this document was authored I guess this was something quite exciting for people but the azo is definitely something you still see in verbatim products the azo die um, so this is uh, what verbatim say about it so they have a cross section here of a CD the crystal surface layer the protective layer then the reflective layer um, and then the polycarbonate substrate layer. And finally, we have the layer uh, where the actual dye is. And uh, the dye is where the data is actually written in, uh, in, this, uh, in this form of optical media. The laser pits away at the dye. So this ASO technology is used with verbatim uh, DVD recordable media. I think it's used with CDs as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but um, I'm not sure because I don't I don't typically uh, buy the ASO line, but um, a lot of people do like it. So it's uh, it's a type of die. There is, if, if I'm not mistaken, three core dies used in CDR and DVDR, and uh, as you can see, it's a trademarked uh, technology. So they say, verbatim say, that ASO dye is, has the ultimate resistance to UV light for increased protection and reliability, high quality picture and sound with more than 100 year archival. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, I think it's debatable as to whether these uh, products will actually last for 100 years in cold storage because there's other factors uh, besides the dye that are uh, that that are determinants in the longevity, but um, they said at the time, I guess they're trying to get people pepped up about the uh, about the longevity of of products with this dye. So they they say that the Azure recording layer not only withstands extremely high laser and rotation speeds of the new drives, probably not so extreme anymore. It also maximizes their performance. Verbatim has paid particular attention to the durability and the light fastness of Azo. Uh, tests show that it is more stable than most recording dyes and the least affected by ultraviolet light. Uh, the recording dye is critical to CDR performance. Its molecular structure must be designed to absorb the typical wavelength of a CDR drive laser, which is around uh, 780. The peak absorption wavelength needs to be optimized so that the disc is compatible with a wide range of recording speeds. ASO offers high sensitivity for reliable high-speed recording and high reflectivity to eliminate read errors. The thinness of the recording layer is all the critical. So basically, um, it's a it's a dye trademarked uh, by verbatim, as far as I know, that they say is better for is less susceptible to UV light and uh, degrading in that manner because that's one of the factors. So um, I would say that's very nice, but keep all your, whatever your optical media is made out of, keep it away from UV light um, would be a good uh, good rule to adhere to. And then we have hard coat. You still see this marketed on uh, the Blu-rays that I'm buying from Verbatim. I think they have hard coat, the regular BDRs, but at the time they were marketing it for regular DVD media. So they, they say that hard code is just a specially created tough coating. Some CDs are extensively handled. Um, for example, the 8 centimeter. The, these are the mini DVDs that uh, we talked about recently uh, that they were used for a while as a storage media in camcorders. So to protect them from scratches verbatim, uh, they put a hard code protective layer to protect it from fingerprints, fingerprints dust, scratches, static and water. 
Okay, so there is Crystal, used as verbatim CDR Media. I don't recall seeing this in a while, but um, they say it's one of their core technologies, or it was at one point. A tough, clear surface for increased protection against accidental surface damage. Um, so also, also a tough layer, and I'll just leave it at that. Okay, this is one that is definitely, um, you see it about the place still. It's called Searl, a special recording layer president on, uh, it stands for a super eutectic recording layer. I hope that's how you pronounce uh, that, uh, the second word there. So super eutectic recording layer. It's a special recording layer present on verbatim CD, RW and DVD, RW that ensures noise free recording time and again. Uh, with conventional rewritable media, so this is just for folks using the uh, the RW stuff, um, the recording layer deteriorates with every rewrite, meaning a decrease in quality. With verbatim re rewritable media, however, the recording layer is returned to perfect condition on every erasure, leaving a flawless disc for the next recording. Searle also ensures this media to, endure, to enjoy excellent archival stability and high-speed recording. This means that users can enjoy perfect high-speed data storage every time. Okay, next we have uh, MABL, um, used with verbatim BDR media, and MABL stands for Metal Ablative Recording Layer, and it's a specially created inorganic recording layer, president on verbatim BDR Blu-rays, ensuring excellent recording compatibility and prolonged stability for archival life. Um, so that's how they describe their core technologies. And uh, this is a more, that was from a PDF, and this is from a more modern, uh, slightly more modern resource on their UK support website, uh, repeating hard code MABL. Uh, so I'll just see what they say about MABL here in this one. Says says exactly the same thing, in fact. Uh, so we looked at, as we looked at, Data Life Plus wasn't mentioned in that document, and it's uh, something you see for... Um, yeah, you see it across the three types of media, CDs, DVDs, and BDRs. We did, I did a previous video about Data Life Plus versus Archival Grade. Uh, data, if you want to know the difference, watch that video. Verbatim recommend Archival Grade above Data Life Plus. But for Data Life Plus, they say uh, within the Verbatim professional portfolio is Data Life Plus, which is selected to even tighter specification eradicating tracking and focus errors and ensuring better compatibility with writers and recorders, resulting in less deflection and eccentricity on CDRs, less deviation and tilt on DVDRs, and tighter specs on BDRs. Um, so tighter specification than their standard media, um, but they don't really have, they said that the advantage of archival grade uh, for CD and DVD was the dual reflective layer, um, which and the gold, uh, very importantly as well. Um, which they don't have on the Data Life Plus. So just to try to tie things all together, um, I found another document floating about on Verbatim's um, website. Um, this is from 2020, so it's, again, a few years old, but trying to um, you just kind of explain all their, how they see their products fitting together. So they go over the, the core technologies again, which they um, still called, and this is for CMC after their um, Mitsubishi that were developed by Verbatim's previous parent company, Mitsubishi Chemical Media, MCM, um, and CMC bought Verbatim in 2020. So they've kept these technologies going. Um, the, again, the advanced Azodai technology, um, which we talked about, the hard code surface, which we talked about a little bit more, Info here, uh, you can see the uh, some microscopic photos of what this looks like under a microscope. Um, we looked at uh, Searle as well, and um, there is Crystal, MABL, and Medidisc. So they say about Medidisc that it's CDRs, CDs, and DVDs targeted towards the medical industry for st for storing valuable patient information information using tighter specifications for better compatibility and recording quality it uses azo um then they kind of say in real life they say this is kind of a nice little breakdown of all their products they say that mdisc should be is what they recommend for archival um and these are the different mdisc products on the market that they manufacture the dvds um in 4x uh, the BDRs in uh, 4x writing speed and in three slim cases, uh, they actually make more than these. It's not complete. Um, and then for Blu-rays, uh, this is their uh, their products. So they say Blu-ray for high definition, 
um, high capacity for high definition video or long term archival. Uh, so they have MDisc for archival and Blu ray kind of also recommended a little bit. And then for backup, they have, well, they have DVD listed as for backup. And uh, we know the difference between backup and archival. They don't, interestingly enough, highlight their archival grade products in uh, this particular document. So I don't know if that means that they're older. They're instead highlighting their DVD uh, minus R with, with ASO and their DVD plus R with, uh, with ASO. Um, then we have the, finally, we'll get to the CDs. Uh, which they're recommending just for reliable storage for music and data files. Uh, <clears throat> they have the ASO, the extra protection. And then in professional optical media, what they say about it is that verbatim's professional optical media features tighter specs than the standards given by the relevant standardization bodies. So there's standardized, uh, standardization bodies for uh, medical storage of optical media, and these uh, products specifically uh, target to meet those standards and exceed them. Um, so you have the, uh, for medical use, DICOM compliant. DICOM is a medical imaging format. So that's what the uh, medi discs are really. Uh, they have ASO for um, excellent read-write performance. So, I mean, I don't think there's any any real kind of advantage to buying the Medi discs unless you're using it for the intended use of medical imaging storage. If you're not in the medical industry, it seems that it's just um, a technology that was certified to like meet that uh, those standards. So that's it uh, for today's video. That was a run through of the core. Uh, verbatim text uh, verbatim text and there are different product lines hope this was helpful thank you for watching and until the next time